What's going on guys? Dustin Wright on how we're going to get to 100%. So I've been told I'm not as natural as I normally am in person in my YouTube videos. So I'm going to try to be a little bit more looser, a little bit more myself. So if you guys could let me know if it sounds like I'm getting a little looser, it sounds a little bit more personable, because that's the goal. Because I want you guys to know 100% of what I go through and what I deal with. So you guys may not have to deal with so much and go through so much. So please guys, if I sound silly, I look like I'm a robot, put in the comments, because I am still trying to get to 100%. So today, to get you guys closer and closer to 100%, what we're gonna talk about is the mistakes I made when I first got into the real estate business, right? What did I do wrong? What did I do right? So you guys can hopefully not have to do that same thing. So if you guys can please go ahead and smash that like button, turn on your post notifications, and please subscribe if you're new to the channel because I want you guys to get to 100%. I wanna grow my channel. I want you guys to grow with me. Let's grow together. Let's get right into the video. I'll make a brand new start of it. So today we're going to talk about L's, taking L's. Because when you get into the real estate business, I can promise you one thing. You're going to take some L's, all right? So the first L we're going to talk about today is learning. We have to learn. I'm sorry about my wrinkly shirt, but it is what it is. It's what we do, all right? Learn. You have to learn about the business. You have to learn psychology, right? Why do I have to learn psychology? Because in order for you to get a client, a buyer or seller, a homeowner to sign the contract, you have to learn psychology on how to get them to sign the contract at that point in time. Because if you don't know how to do that, and you don't know how to ask the right questions, and say the right thing in the right way, no one's ever gonna put an offer in or list their home with you because they don't feel comfortable and confident that you're the right agent for the job. And the reason someone feels comfortable and confident in you because you've learned the skills necessary to give them the comfortable and confident feeling for them to either put an offer in for you or list your home. But we're talking about listings, right? So you have to learn about how to sell homes you have to learn about how to price homes and you have to learn on how to tell a homeowner, not every situation, that their home is not worth what they think it is. That's the biggest one, right? Because if you don't learn how to do that, you're just not going to make any money in the real estate business. So the number one thing is learning. Learn, 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 or you're never going to earn, okay? The next thing that we have to look at, the next L, because we're taking L's when we get in the real estate business, there's no ifs, ands, or buts is listen. So many real estate agents don't listen. They're just not listening. They get into a listing appointment. Okay, yes, absolutely. Yeah, okay, so you're moving down to Oklahoma. Okay, that's great. Okay, so what I can do for you is I market the property. We're the best. We got the uh, nice company. We have, uh, we work hard, you know, so, and, and they didn't really care about the situation of the seller because they didn't care to listen. Because a lot of real estate agents, they just want to go in, they want to sell a home, they don't want to do too much work and get a big check. Bam! So, to separate ourselves, all you have to do is listen. And, and you already separate yourself from 50% of the competition. Because what most people don't have a lot of is good listeners in their life. And now, most people don't like real estate agents. Ah, they get paid so much money and do nothing. Some of them, that's true, okay? A lot of, a lot of good agents get overpaid and don't do enough work. It, it's, it's terrible sometimes, but that's why we have to separate ourselves by being 100%. So you listen to the seller, you listen to your real estate coach or someone who's helping you in the business, right? Because if you don't listen to the mistakes that we're doing and you keep doing them, you're never gonna learn, right? So it's very important to listen. If they're moving because they're expanding their family, well, that's the reason why they're selling your home. Everything you talk about should be around them getting a bigger family. So if you're talking about how you can sell the home at a great price and do a great job for them and that's all you're talking about, that sounds great, but that's not really what they care about. They wanna they want to know that they can sell their home and provide more space so they can grow their family. That's what the whole thing should be about. Listen, the next L, right? Three L's today, that's it. 
First L, second L, third L is leverage. You need leverage, right? The explanation is the three L's that are gonna help you in your real estate business, okay? Leverage. So, what do you mean by leverage? There's one thing that Tony Robbins has said that stuck in my head forever. Whatever situation you're in, whatever situation you, it doesn't matter where you're at, right? It doesn't matter, let me get to it. It's never a lack of resources, I've said this before, it's always a lack of resourcefulness, right? So I'm new in the business. I don't have one sale. What am I going to do? I don't know. I don't know how to spell houses. Bam. You're making calls. You do something. You get an opportunity, right? You get an opportunity to have a listing. Listings are a little bit more tougher than buyers. You have to get a seller to agree to pay a 6%, five and a half. Some agents even take 4% listing, right? So you have to show more value. How do you do that with no sales? How do you do that in the beginning, right? This is something I neglected to do in the beginning, right? I didn't take L's, right? I didn't want to take the L's. I didn't listen, I didn't learn, and I didn't leverage anything. And guess what? I didn't sell anything. So this is how we get you up to speed. So leverage, you leverage your office, right? You leverage the recent sales around the neighborhood. See, a seller doesn't want the top agent, right? It wants the agent that's gonna work the hardest for them right? So you don't have to sell the most amount of homes to get the listing. You don't have to have multi-million dollar sales team. What you have to do is make the seller feel special by leveraging all the information you can about the neighborhood, about the seller, him or herself, right? And about you and what you can use for your resources. Even though you don't, let's say, haven't sold a home yet, but you have a listing appointment. Let's say it's a million dollar listing appointment. You haven't sold one home yet. What do you do? Oh my goodness, well, start thinking, lack of resources. It's never a lack of resources, always a lack of resourcefulness. Well, you know what? Let's go grab the top agent in the office, see if I can give him 50% of my commission, take him on my listing appointment, and bam. That's how you get the listing, right? And then, while you're there, while you take that agent, it doesn't have to be a million dollars, you can do it on your first listing at two, three, four, five hundred thousand, right? You learn from them, you listen from them, and you leverage them, right? So then you get the listing, you get paid, you learn from it, and you get closer to 100%. Let's go. This is what we do here, guys. We're going to the top, and no one's going to stop.